Good morning, my little nerds. I am Dr. Shireen Idris, a cosmetic dermatologist based in New York City. And we have hit a year of doing YouTube videos together, which is insane. I started last year when I was sick with COVID and locked up in my room and I decided to start doing videos. And then I made a promise to myself and to all of you that I would show up on a weekly basis and I'm very, very, very proud of the fact that we've hit a year of videos together. And I hope you guys are still learning, are still enjoying, and are still having fun with me. Um, that being said, today is also a special day because we are recording this video from my office, which is still kind of a um, construction zone. Those are PJs to come. Um, I never actually showed you guys the plaque that YouTube sent me. And then if I flip the camera here, you guys have a view of Bryant Park. So it's super exciting. And um, I'm very, very excited to be doing this video from my home. We probably will not have um, a lot of distractions today. There are no kids here. My husband is not here. And so unless a patient faints, it's just you and me for the next couple of 20 minutes or so. So today I thought would be very fitting for us to do a winter skincare routine, not just for your face, but also for your body because the temperatures are finally dipping. It's very disturbing when it's 55 degrees in December and today it is 35 degrees and I'm very happy because that is how it should be. But my lips have definitely taken the short end of the stick and I have experienced for sure um, dry chapped lips as well as a broken skin barrier in the past. And so I'm here to help you guys figure out how to navigate the upcoming cold months ahead. So let's dive in. Number one, this guy. So this baby I bought from Walgreens. It was no joke, 45 bucks. It is a humidifier. And I love myself a good humidifier because it does change the game. Actually, this was from CVS, oops. Walgreens CVS. I just also spilled it pissed on me. The humidifier just took a piss on me. But the reason I love this is because number one, it's magical mystical. But number two, um, it just changes your whole skincare game. It allows your skin. Oh my God. I literally look like I took a piss. It looks like I peed myself. Well, my patients are going to have to just accept me as I am. Um, it, it, uh, the reason it's amazing is because it just changes the way your skin responds to the environment. It keeps your skin supple. It keeps your skin hydrated because heaters will suck the humidity out of the air. And when the humidity is sucked out of the air or you live in a very dry climate, your skin barrier will break and when your skin barrier breaks up, it gets red, it gets inflamed, and no matter what kind of products you're using on your face, it's much harder to heal. So get yourself a humidifier. But the biggest thing with a humidifier is clean that ish. You do not want to have a humidifier that you're just constantly dumping water into. You need to clean your humidifier because it can be a breeding ground for mold. So that is probably the most important tip with a humidifier. I keep it next to my bed. I have one now in my office and because I put them basically in places where I spend a lot of time. So I hopefully sleep average seven, eight hours a night. So that's why it's next to my bed in my office because why not keep the air nice and supple and smooth and silky for anybody who comes in to my office. So moving on from the humidifier. Number two, let's start with the cleansers. So not all cleansers are created equal. With the dry air, you're probably gonna want something that is more moisturizing as a cleanser. So this is where milky, creamy cleansers are the name of the game. You want it to add a level of hydration to your skin rather than over strip your skin of its natural oils. And this is when, honestly, in winter time, I think it's more important than in summertime to actually make sure, or in dry climates, that you are using a cleanser only at night. If you are over cleansing your face, then you're over stripping your skin of its natural oils and your skin barrier is going to pay the price ultimately in the end. And so this is where I find it to be very, very important. I have recently discovered this one by Laneige. It is a cream skin milk oil cleanser. It is a beautiful cleanser. I'm not going to do a demonstration right now because I have patients to go see afterwards. Ooh, 
but it is a runny cleanser. And honestly, it's extremely hydrating. It does not have an oily residue to it, and it does help uh, to break up your makeup. If you are somebody with oily skin, this probably is not your favorite sort of cleanser to use, and this is probably not advice that pertains to you. But if you have dry skin in winter, then look for a creamy, milky cleanser. This one particularly has no scent, and it retails for, I don't know, but I will put the price right here in this blue box right here. So yeah. All right, so after we cleanse, this is where I think a face mist is of importance. This is one by Evian. It is a brumisateur or facial spray. I actually really like it throughout the day. Tiffany, let's do a demo. Hold on, come over here. <laughs> Tiffany is standing in front of me. <laughs> okay, basically, me. I'm going to show you. Not actually, in my eye this time. Sit. <laughs> Just sit. All right, I will if give you, watch you guys. super great, you know what I'm talking okay. about. I'm going to show you a demo of a winter skincare routine on Tiffany's face. Or I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm ah. going So how did I see she did not expect this? No. So the air, okay, like I said, started. is very dry. We already talked about the humidifier. We talked about the milky cleanser. This is when the air gets really dry, and this is where a spritzer helps yeah um don't worry about my face <laughs> no you should be in it too okay over here so i'm going oh, we're, we're matching we're, we are matching and we're sitting yeah. on the same chair so <laughs> there we go spritzing Dem baby spritzing <laughs> baby um here is the mist that okay. i actually really like to use I if feel fresh. you break out am i supposed to do this you can actually instead of this use hypochlorous acid and walgreens has one over there it's okay. right there one second i'm gonna make her grab it Oh, it's so nice to have a child to make her run for you. <laughs> You're like my little child. My kid, my parents when I was younger, go get me the telephone book. You guys don't even know what a telephone book is. This one. Okay, yes. So this is one that you can definitely use as well. It is from Walgreens. It's actually a cleansing spray. It's hypochlorous acid. It is a knockoff version of the Tower 28. Hold on. It's locked. <laughs> like, oh, you gotta prime it. But it's a nice. They smell like a <laughs> she smells like a swimming pool because it smells like chlorine. But if you break out, instead of using regular, you know, um, water, this is actually a nice one to help to minimize breakouts. Or if you have eczema, I would recommend this one over this one. And if you have redness, I would pick Aven. Aven also has a water spraying mist. And you might be like, what difference does it make? Water is water is water. No, my friend, water is not water. Mm. It depends on the minerals in the water. Okay. And Aven is actually geared towards red skin, which is not That's your nice. issue. So these are the guys I like. Okay. And then once you mist, we use a hydrating serum. And the hydrating serums I like, I don't switch my recommendations often because I actually use what I recommend. Mm -hmm. So I like to stick to tried and trues. And I really, you guys all know this, love this one by Avino. It is a hydrating serum. It is amazing. Obviously, we all hate the dropper. Should but we demo? Yeah, we're definitely demoing. So, I mean, this is stupidest this. thing. This is the yeah. dumbest dropper in the world. So I'm just going to do this because why do I need to drop when I could just... Pour? Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> It's gonna be nice and dewy. <laughs> nice and dewy, dewy tissue. I'll let you go in with it. Okay. She also has very sensitive skin, so I know I she's do. she's dying inside, scared <laughs> that her skin is gonna break up. But she's this one's be been good for sensitive yeah, skin. This is great. I love this one for sensitive skin. I won't post anything else, but it just is so lightweight. Always going to mm. the neck. Feels great. Feels cooling. Or are those just my your hands? hands? My hands are cold. Amazing. Cold hands, warm cold heart. Cold hands for skincare. Cold That's hands, warm heart. So um, the Avino Common Restore, it's 23 bucks. It's super affordable. It's very easy. I would never use this one on Tiffany because she has sensitive skin and there's a little bit of fragrance. Yeah. But the Aven Hydrance Intense has a little bit of rose. It's also not bad if you have red skin. Again, like I said, Aven is usually geared towards redness. This one is 38 bucks. Um, so just saying. And then Dieu also has a serum called Deliverance, which is also a very calming, soothing serum. It's a little bit pricier, but it's really nice is a stocking stuffer that one retails for 69 bucks um all right once we've used our serums at this Did point no not yet oh. <laughs> we do our eye cream right. so when it comes to eye creams it depends what your eye issue is my biggest issue during the day is redness especially if i had a long night of doing a pillow talk with all of you and so this baby is by isden it is their chaos eye cream this one retails for i don't know 
how much this one retails for. It's pricey, actually. Let's I think, no, I know how much this one retails for. This one retails for 98 bucks. The price there is right. Go. Double check. Yeah. It is? I, I wonder if it's right. right. Yeah. 98 bucks, because I remember being like, ooh. But it lasts a long while, because you don't need so much. And I actually use this in lieu of a under eye primer if I put makeup on, because it gives that instant brightening effect underneath your eyes. So I really like it. The reason I like it is it has vitamin K, which is not often found yep. in eye cream. 97 bucks. Oh. I was pretty close. Yeah. Um, but vitamin K is great. It definitely helps to minimize any sort of redness. And I mean, if you are loaded and have a lot of money and you don't care wasting or overusing, use it around your nose if you have a lot of redness. Just saying. Okay, if you are loaded. All right. Can you can you adopt? Can, can you adopt us if you're loaded? Okay, all right. Okay. Look up. Let's see. I never put You've never really? done skincare on someone else. This no, is different. It is different. It's weird. Do you know what you're doing? Like, is it weird for you? It feels like the other side, but I think I put a lot. Merry like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. I like this okay. jizzing technique you're doing. I know, I know. It's kind of nice, huh? You have a little bit of redness here. We can just, you know. Okay, hold on. Okay. Look up, look up. Up, okay. yeah. All right, so then we apply the under eye cream. I put a lot for I'm her. doing this just for you guys. I know, she really are. She's freaking out. Gotta be a team player. Okay, I will use okay. the back, but yeah. Can you like get that in your under eyes? Never applied, what? I've never applied face cream to other people's do faces. people do that? I wonder. I don't know. I mean, I guess estheticians and they give you a facial. Oh, I mean, I'm not an esthetician, so I don't know. Okay. Um, Actually, I'm supposed to use this finger, right? Yeah. And Feels nice. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 okay, tap. love it. Tap. But this is Izzin's Chaos Eye Cream. It is a beauty. So always put your eye cream after your hydrating serums okay. and before you moisturize. All right, and this is now a trick that I love. And this is where she's going to freak out. So we talk about lip basting, which is when I use, and I'll get into that in a minute. So we'll talk about lip basting in a second. But I call this face basting because it is something I do at night, not during the day, to allow my face to really absorb the moisture that it has lost throughout the day. And I don't recommend doing this during the day because this particular product, the one by La Roche Posay, the Cicaplast. She's thick. She's thick, baby. She's thick. And she has a lot of zinc and you will look like a ghost. So it's not something I do to start my day. I do this face basting technique at night, but I'm gonna do it to Tiffany during the day. Just for you guys. Just for you guys, because she's here. So we're gonna go for okay. it. So all, right. all right. I'm gonna, I'm just, gonna, go gonna, go gonna go in. All right. So your face does look much dewier. It looks way. very dewy. Very yeah. Hydrated. Very hydrated. Okay. All right. So we're gonna put a nice thick layer. So I like this Ooh. product a lot. It's fifteen dollars. The reason I love it is because of the zinc. Frankly, it's very calming. So if you have any irritation, if your barrier is broken up, this is a cream for you. All right. It's like. A hydrating mask. A hydrating, exactly. But, but I you call don't need it, to buy hydrating I call it face basting. This. Yeah. And you really, a little bit goes a long way. Hold on, look at me. I'm going to stand She's up. It's thick though. Let's go for it. We're going to baste. We're going to baste. Baste yourself. All right. And we're going to sit here. And you guys are going to see, I might do a little fast forward of how it will melt into her face. But this is a night thing for you. I wouldn't do this during the day normally because I think sure. you're gonna have a white cast, but let's see how it melts. And then yeah, go like just massage it in a little bit. Yeah. Massage yeah. it in yeah. with your little hands. Okay, so that is face basting. While she's doing this and while we watch it, you don't have to massage the whole time, but you can just kind of let it sit, but just get it in there. Mm -hmm. While she's doing this, I'm gonna talk about lip basting, which I do on average maybe like two times if not three times a week. The reason I don't do it more often is because I have yet to find an exfoliating acid that is not so strong. You need something that's a little bit lighter. And so right now, what I currently use is this one by L'Oreal, the Revitalift 10% Glycolic Acid Serum. And I literally take the smallest drop and I switched their dropper to a pump because, you know, we fancy like that. And I basically, kind of just do a light exfoliating acid to my lip 
10% is pretty strong. So you gotta be careful if you are somebody who has had cold sores in the past, if you break out a lot around your mouth with cold sores, um, because it can definitely trigger it. So this is something that I say approach with caution if you have a history of cold sores, but it works wonders on my lips because it also exfoliates my lips before I apply a really thick ointment. And what I use on my lips is Walida. The reason I use Olita is because it is loaded in oils and the oils help to melt into the skin and help into the muc melt into the mucous membranes. Vaseline sits on my lips and over time I develop a white kind of crustiness around my lips. So I'm not a huge fan of putting a lot of Vaseline on the lips because it becomes a little bit kind of like cakey. You're going to baste with uh -huh. me? Uh-huh. I'm going to baste with you. We're basting today. Yeah, but look, you're actually, it melted in. It melts in pretty well. It, it would still just face. be night. But hold on. Still... Give it like five more minutes. Let's see if there's a white cast. But if you're super dry, you could do this while you're getting ready in the morning on your face and your lips. And you can basically see how it melts in. <laughs> but anyway, I'm lip basting, she's face basting, Base and we're lips. just all basted. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, those are some tips I have for the face and for the lips. Now, okay. once you do your daily morning skincare go routine. Melt. Wait, where are you going? I'm going to go melt for a second. Where you no, 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 you're hanging out here. They gotta watch it melt in oh real time. Gosh. Yeah, okay. You're not allowed to go. Oh. <laughs> She's like, I have work. No, you don't. Okay, basically, you end up using a sunscreen after your moisturizer. And I would say in the morning, I try to minimize my routine um, in the winter time to just using water on my face, a hydrating serum, and then I put my sunscreen on and I walk out the door. Plus or minus the moisturizer before the sunscreen. Now, the reason sometimes I skip the moisturizer, even in winter time, for me, is because I wear a mask all day and this area becomes very moist. And so if you're somebody who's wearing a mask more than eight hours a day, just use the hydrating serum followed by the sunscreen and then you're fine to go. If you're somebody who's not wearing a mask all day and you're sitting in a very dry room, then hydrating serum, moisturizer, then mask, uh, then sunscreen. Um, do not put the sunscreen before the moisturizer. Let it always be your last step. And the reason I don't use oils during the day is because putting an oil underneath the sunscreen can minimize the efficacy of your sunscreen. I keep looking here, but the camera's you over should here. Be looking there. I know, it's okay. So that right. is that. Um, if you're somebody who does not want to use a sunscreen after you moisturize and you don't have time, there's a beautiful sunscreen that is a two for one, which is the La Roche Posay. And this baby is a Tolarian Double Repair Facial Moisturizer. I'm not gonna put this on Tiffany or myself because I have to go see patients and I do wanna see how her face looks towards like the next five minutes. Like you can see it, bring your head down, head down, head oh. down. She does have a little line still from the zinc, but it's actually impressive how it melts into your face. Um, this one is SPF, what is this one, 30? And I like it, it is hydrating enough. It is a quote unquote chemical sunscreen, which we have to get away from saying, but it is not zinc or titanium, so it's not gonna leave a white cast and it will melt into your skin. So seamlessly, very nice. yeah, yeah, seamlessly. Love so that. not an issue at all. And finalement, let's get into body. We're gonna talk about hands Ooh. and the rest of your body. Number one, hands. I love this guy, O'Keefe's Working Hands. It is a great moisturizer. I actually don't have gloves here. They're in the exam room, um, but I do this at night. I put a thick layer and sometimes if my hands are super dry, I will sleep with plastic gloves on top of my hands. And I discovered this next and last product from my babies. I love this is, one. I love, I this, love one. this when I had babies. I bought it because of her. Yeah. I discovered it's this. Helped. The Eczema Therapy Avino. This is the best balm for your body. My it. hands are a little slippery because of the O'Keefe's, <laughs> but it's beautiful. It is a thick, I mean, it looks like a glaze. Yeah. It looks like a doughy, donutty glaze. And this guy is the best. It just, it gets absorbed pretty fast. The first time I did it, I kind of was like, mm, I'm gonna go into my it's bed. It's tacky. I thought about that too, yeah. but I didn't care. Cause that means your care. skin just but feels so good. your legs feel so good in yeah. the morning? And when I use it in the morning before I get dressed, I'm Nothing always- Nothing gets on your sheets. I always, hold on, I got worried when I yeah. put it on in the morning before I got dressed. And I'm like, I'm not gonna put my clothes over this. 
it doesn't kind of leave any residue on your clothes and your skin at the end of the day today. feels really really nice so this one i discovered from my babies when i had babies i basically covered them they were like little butterball turkeys with all of this on them they were very slippery it was actually kind of scary when they were first born but their skin is amazing and they've always they have not but they will thank me for it later um but yeah the avino eczema therapy I love it. and so those are my tips and tricks for Woo. winter skincare look at tiffany's face okay. the zinc Should completely melted in you really don't even have a white cast actually not anymore you have no white cast if you, if you really yeah. leave it to what no, you can yeah. leave it to melt in if you have time in the morning and you're a darker skin tone and your skin is very dry give yourself time it will melt in otherwise just use it at night i only use it at night personally i do not do this in the morning because i wear a mask all yeah. day um but those are some tricks and tips to help save your skin this upcoming Yay! winter and i was saying before you joined it it's one year since we started doing youtube videos and oh, we never talked about you we never talked about it. i know and and look I, at never, I never even showed you guys this that they sent me which was when we got yeah. to a hundred thousand Ding. there you guys you guys can see your reflection yeah. in the camera <laughs> but yeah um very very excited and yeah. voila. we'll be doing more videos from the office we'll be doing more videos i'll show you guys some procedures we'll also be doing videos from home because i don't have that much time during the day but we thought we would slip one in it's today. like a new chapter of youtube it's a new chapter yeah all what right you guys want to see let us know let us know and thank you for joining have a Bye. great day